The different environments that polyurethane is used in, typically environments like a hot environment, a cold environment, tropical environments, as well as chemical heavy environments, wet environments, and dry environments. Polyurethane performs well in cold environments due to its ability to resist sharp drops in temperature. You know, in applications where you're dealing with elements that are outside of your control, that sharp temperature drop it will not affect urethane. But whenever it comes to other plastic materials and rubbers, whenever they get to those points, they tend to crack. Urethane will hold its structure instead of cracking and deteriorating. Whenever it comes to cold environments and special formulations for polyurethane, typically, as opposed to some of our other formulations, uh, the NMDI ether is going to be one of those formulations that can go all the way down to negative 100 and reach its brittle point at a much, much slower rate. It's going to perform much better than other rubbers and plastics. Polyurethane performs very well in hot environments. Generally speaking, if you're in 200 to 250 degrees for an extended period of time, polyurethane is going to hold up very well. A natural rubber or plastic will start to experience weakened physical properties when exposed to heat for too long. Polyurethane, on the other hand, is very durable in those hot conditions. The physical properties are affected much, much slower for polyurethane than with a cheaper rubber or plastic material. That's what makes it the optimal choice for hot applications. If you're in a hot environment, we're probably going to want to go with an ester. However, if you're going to have parts that are going to get hot because of the application, we'll put you on an ether because it's able to withstand hysteresis much better. Out of the way, we can formulate to your specific application. Urethane performs great in dry environments. At PSI Urethanes, we can custom formulate to resist wear and tear, UV saturation, and abrasion resistance. Compared to other rubber and plastics, urethane will last longer in dry environments, giving the customer a peace of mind to have longevity in their part. Other materials' physical properties will deteriorate a lot faster. They can't handle the heat, the abrasion, and will start to crack. Longevity is important in a urethane part in a dry environment because it's a harsh environment. Other materials will tend to break down a lot faster when urethane is going to extend the life of your application. Our typical shelf life in standard conditions is five years. But depending on the application and the environment, we can formulate it to last a lot longer than other materials. Thermal set polyurethane is gonna have a better chemical resistance than conventional plastics. How's it being exposed to the chemical? How's it coming in contact? At what concentrate is this chemical coming in contact with the polyurethane? Those are very vital pieces of information we, we would need to know to put you on the right product that will last in your application. Chemical exposure is graded by poor, fair, good, and excellent. Any of those doesn't mean that it's not gonna be a fit in your application. It could very well just do great in your application depending on the exposure to the chemicals, how long they're being exposed to the chemicals, what's the environment, all that's gonna play a huge role in chemical compatibility. Conventional plastics, rubbers, are not gonna work in these chemical heavy environments. Polyurethane is gonna be the superior choice in all your chemical heavy applications. Urethane performs great in tropical environments. The formulations withstand humidity, high heat, resist swelling from seawater and deep water pressure. As long as it's ether-based polyurethane, it'll work great in human environments. We can formulate the product to maintain its properties in a combination of high heat and moisture. We have the ability to formulate antimicrobial products, so you have no reason to worry about algae and fungus growth in marine environments. Urethane performs well in deep water environments. Its ability to resist hydrolysis from seawater, its ability to resist the natural load bearing that you'll see from high pressures in deep water. On top of that, the ability to resist rays from the sun as far as UV resistance. All of those things come together and make urethane the optimal choice whenever it comes to deep water applications.